Have you ended your Twitch stream, but now you want to edit it down so that way you can post it to YouTube and other platforms to actually start growing an audience? Now that might sound super intimidating, but I have a super easy beginner friendly way that requires no software whatsoever. So let me show you how to edit your Twitch streams right now. But real quick, we got to pay homage to the caffeine gods. All right, let's go. First thing we wanna do is head over to Twitch. And if you wanna use your phone to be able to do this, then you're gonna to have to do a few steps first. First, you're gonna to wanna to download the Google Chrome app. And after opening Google Chrome, you're gonna to wanna to go to twitch.tv, then click the three vertical dots in the top right corner and go down to desktop site, which will give you the same thing that we're looking at right here. And if it's still not, then make sure that there's not an M in front of twitch.tv because that'll force you to the mobile site. But once we're on twitch.tv and it looks like this, then we can go to the top right corner and click our little icon. and then then go to channel. Then we can go to the little videos tab in the middle, click on that. And once you have some recent broadcast, then you'll be good to go. However, if you don't have any recent broadcast, that means you haven't saved your Twitch stream. So let's go and set that up real quick. So we're gonna go back to the top right corner, click our little icon and then click on creator dashboard. Then we'll go to the left side where it says settings. Then we'll click on stream. Then we'll go down to where it says VOD settings and make sure you enable store past broadcast. So that way, whenever you end your stream, on Twitch, it will automatically save it for up to seven days. And it'll also give you the ability to save it permanently, which I'll show you in just a second. So if you've been saving your past broadcast, that means we can go to the left hand side where it says content and then go to video producer. If you just enabled your save setting, unfortunately, it will not resurrect your old streams, but any new streams you do from here on out, they will pop up here in the video producer. But before we start getting our hands dirty by learning how to edit our Twitch streams, do you ever wonder where all these people are getting these professional looking stream designs? Most of them are getting it from this site right here, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. It's called own.tv and they have all of the professional stream design overlays that you'll ever want, including emotes, graphics, panels, and more. And they also happen to sponsor today's video. So nice. But if we go down, we've actually, we're using the synth runner series right here. So we can click on that. Then we can click on the preview on the left-hand side and make it full screen to see everything that's included in this package, including that starting soon screen that we saw earlier in OBS. But it also includes all of these other scenes, alerts, webcam, overlays, panels, graphics, everything you're going to possibly want for your stream. So if you want to make your stream look more professional, then you can save 50% using coupon code CPAUSE and the link will be in the description down below. But going back to our video producer page, we're going to pick out a random stream that we did. So I'm going to just do the most recent stream. And once we click on the most recent stream, we're actually going to click on the highlight button. So if we click the highlight button, it'll bring us to this little Twitch highlighter, which also kind of looks like a little mini video editor because you guessed it, we're gonna do our editing in here, which means that we don't need any software or anything and it's gonna be super easy to do. So you can see we have our video preview right here in the top right, and then we have our metadata in the top left, so our title and our game category. And then we have the actual editing stuff at the bottom. This little gold bar here is going to be the highlight, so what's gonna be saved. So for example, we played a scary game. Actually, we played two of them, if I remember correctly, which was later in the stream. So let's say I wanted to turn that into a YouTube video and I don't want any of this just chatting stuff at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll through here and I'm just gonna click on this little progress bar until we start the game. So I'm just gonna quickly go through until we actually start, which is way over here. So what I'm gonna do now is drag this little left-hand side here, the little bar to where we start the actual game. So it might require a little bit of jumping around and you can also zoom in by clicking this little zoom in magnifying glass here, which will make it easy to actually like navigate where you started your gameplay right about here. So I'm going to make sure that I drag it just to the right spot in order to start the highlight. Now, let's say that you actually went up to go pee in the middle of the game, like a lot of us do, especially when we're gaming for like three, four hours at a time. So let's pretend that I went up to use the bathroom right here. Actually, I did some bean boozled, some spicy bean boozled on the stream so let's say I wanted to cut that out because I'm gonna post this gameplay to YouTube and I don't want to include that so I'll go to right where it, we do the bean so let's say right about there I'm gonna pause this to make sure I get it just to where I need to get it so let's say right about there then what I'm gonna do is hit the little scissors icon so I can split it so now we have two gold bars so we have a gold bar here when I click on it then we have a gold bar here when I click on it so that means if I just drag the right gold bar, you can see now we have a gap in our video. 
which means it's not going to be included in our final video because it's only going to make a video what is highlighted. So obviously this is highlighted, so it's going to make it a part of that. And it's also going to include this. So I'm going to go right to where we finish the Bean Boozled. And if you guys want to see me do all these disgusting Bean Boozled, you can join us on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. Central. But right around here is when we stop. So I took out that portion of the video, but it's still going to be one video when we go to save this at the very end. Let's keep scrolling and see if we have anything else in our video. I'm going to guess that we don't. I don't think I went to pee, which is honestly astonishing because I have the bladder of a 10 year old boy, but I have to find where we jumped game. So I'm pretty sure it's over here. I'm just going to keep dragging until, okay, right about here, it looks like we switched games. So I want to make sure that I get it right at the right portion. So I think right around here. And once again, you can zoom in and zoom out using these little magnifying glasses, which will make your life easier. But let's just say that it's right there. So let's say I do my sign off and it's all good. So this is my scary game. I believe this one is called The Descent. So what I'm going to call it, I'm going to do a title just for myself. I'm going to call it The Descent Gameplay and then change the game to the descent if i can find it hopefully yep oh god there's four of them <laughs> that's uh that's awkward but for your case chances are you're not going to play a very very obscure indie game that has four titles but in this rare case you do chances are it's going to be the top one if it's not you'll be able to change it later because you'll be able to see the picture we're going to click that one and then once we have our video to how we want it just doing our little basic edits cutting it in and out then we'll be able to click the publish highlights button so we'll click publish highlights now this part can take a while depending on how long your video is because obviously if it's trying to process a four hour video that you just did it might take a little while for it to actually do the processing so if you have a really long video you might want to go open up TikTok and just scroll for an hour and a half because I know that passes the time super quickly for me or if this video has been helpful so far you could also drop a like so other people can easily find it but you can continue to put more metadata and upload a thumbnail if you like but while it's processing you can just hit save changes and then it's obviously going to keep processing here then every once in a while you'll refresh Refresh the screen and it'll pop up here but while it's processing I'll tell you more about it so since this is a highlighted video because we hit highlight and made it into a highlighted video this video will be permanently saved on twitch until you manually delete it if you never delete it then it will always be on twitch another cool thing about highlighted clips is that if we scroll down and pick one that I've already done before like this one of my viewers sent in a mystery food care package where we ate like a thousand year old duck egg and it was disgusting but this is a processed highlight that will always remain on my stream and the cool thing about when it's actually done like this one is that if we go to the right hand side and click these three dots we have more options so we can either download the video and that way we can upload it to YouTube or whatever video platform you want to upload it to. Or if you want to skip some steps, you can actually click the export button and you can export it directly to your YouTube channel. So that way you don't have to download it and then re-upload it to YouTube because that is a long time for it to process if it's a long video. Keep in mind though, if you do want to export directly to YouTube that you're going to have to do a couple things. Number one is we're going to have to connect our YouTube to our Twitch account. So we'd X out of this. Then we go to, I think the top right corner, click our icon and then click on account settings. Then we can go to the connections tab at the top. So we click that and then we will go to the YouTube portion where you can see mine is connected right here. And you'll just hit that purple connect button and connect your YouTube to Twitch so you're able to export it to YouTube directly from Twitch. Makes sense, right? But also you're going to want to make sure that your YouTube is also verified. And if you don't know how to verify your YouTube channel, then I'll leave it linked in the description down below with a little guide for you. Otherwise, they'll force you to split your videos into 15 minute segments, which literally nobody wants. So make sure your YouTube account is verified. But then just make sure that the visibility is set to private so that way it has time to actually get to the perfect quality that you uploaded it to. To, because when you export directly to YouTube, it's going to first do the 360p version. But if you streamed at 1080p, it's going to take a while so it can actually get to the 1080p done processing. So if you're freaking out that you were streaming at 720p, but the video on YouTube is 360p, then just give it some more time and be patient because it will eventually get to that 720p. Just needs time to process. But now you can see that our Descent gameplay is highlighted. So we can do the same exact thing over here. We can feel free to download it. We can feel free to export it or we can feel free to add it to a collection because the collections are kind of like playlists on Twitch. Not a lot of people use them, but if you want, you can create a collection like we can just say horror games right there. Click create and then that way it'll be added to our horror games collection. So if someone wants to go and view our collections, they'll be able to. Now that we have a collection, we can go to the top right corner and then go back to our channel. Then we can click on the videos tab and then 
if we scroll down, you'll see our horror games collection down here. So that way you can have different collections, AKA playlists on your channel. So easily your viewers can go and watch your streams, but keep watching this Twitch playlist to the side of me. It's going to teach you everything that you need to know as a Twitch streamer, but my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.